Hello, welcome back to Mel Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at Spreadshop Multi Cash Node um, created by Victor Fall. Um, so, this is the exact example that I will be recreating. This is actually really, really similar to animation nodes, uh, how it, you can cache the data, and this is explained by Omar two and a half years ago. Um, it's very cool, it's slightly interesting and you have to go through to understand what's actually going on so it's basically your you want to dynamically caching uh, value and storing the data inside memory and stretch of multicache actually does exactly that and I will recreate it from scratch um, just following all this uh, notes example so let's get started so I'll be using just a plane and I will use uh, particles, I will generate particles for the plane and by default it's gonna fall through gravity I'm gonna turn off the gravity influence and I will create uh, select this and just create force force field I'll be using turbulence and set the turbulence to 10 so we have particles being influenced by our turbulence. So with the particle itself, I wanted maybe 50 particles and I want all of them to start at the same time and gonna die after 50 frames. I will save this. So SV multi-cache. So we want to dynamically uh, kind of storing the value of uh, position of each particles per frame. So we're gonna do that using the multi cache node. Just search mode. Okay, multi cache. Interesting node. So from Victor example, we actually uh, okay. We're gonna need to grab the particle data first. So this is particles out locations plug into this guy the in bucket will be the frame the out bucket will be a uh, number range in this case we're gonna make it um, 50 frames or 50 kind of like the total number of the bucket where we're gonna store the data and let's take a look at the result. Hopefully this works. So you can see the bucket is being filled for every frame. So we have 50 frames to fill in. So now it's the data is cached in the memory, I believe. If we use viewer draw, we can see the points position of every particles right now we can bake this uh, but we can also use uh, UV connections to make lines and funny in, in my examples this UV connection doesn't work right away but in Victor one it's kind of working right away so I believe I need to use list split and okay so we have something now and we need to split the data based on the number of particles that we are generating so we have 50 particles here so we're gonna split the data so this is what uh, what I get uh, if we have for example 150 Oh, actually, just make it like simple. 80, 80 particles. We want to. We need to reset uh, the cache, of course. We need to reset it, and we need to split this to 80. Split the data. So this is uh, the new simulations that we have. If you want it to be longer, 250 frames, you can. Uh, you can also have. 
we can randomize the lifetime and now let's cache this oh we might need to reset the simulations and then also make this 250 frame so we have 250 in the bucket and some particles will die earlier and so continue okay so in in this case also i found it to be interesting that maybe we, we shouldn't randomize the lifetime in this case if if the lifetime is the same for each particle then this is gonna work I don't know maybe something that I've, I'm doing is not exactly correct but for this experiment for this first look into multicast if we didn't randomize the lifetime then it should be fine if we randomize the lifetime maybe we need to split this data differently okay so there you go, so we have 249 vertices. I have a feeling that maybe we need to unwrap twice somehow, but anyhow, we get a result and we can bake it. So this is particles uh, that are being traced. It's being stored into multi-cache and then it's being it turned into lines using UV connections. I think you can also use polyline viewer. Oh yeah, this one is actually behaving slightly differently. So also this does not quite work the way I like it. Maybe I shouldn't unwrap. But this is interesting, right? Uh, don't worry about the line for now. Just use the UV connections. Maybe we need to join it or something. Select all by type curves, delete everything. So we have this. For now, I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, you can try yourself using animation nodes, slightly different, but this is also really cool where you, you are using set attribute and storing it in the memory using expression. Uh, this works, I tried it. This is from two and a half years ago, but still working and I can do a video on this one. Uh, it's actually really nice study as well. You are basically, this is like creating the bucket on the fly dynamically and then using expressions. If the bucket has uh, data, fill it with the new data otherwise keep the bucket empty uh, but we know we should know the number of bucket for example 50 frames bucket for the cache we first create create 50 bucket and then we're gonna fill the data dynamically at later on so same thing with particles position stretch of nodes have multi cache now i'm still trying to understand this completely but we have result this result Okay, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.